Hi besties and welcome back to another day on the EB aisle. I feel like we have actually kind of a few things to do today. I wanted to move Pearl's house and I also wanted to build an incline here, but since we're right next to the shops, I figured we would go ahead and just get that little chore out of the way. Hey girly pops. We'll see what we've got going on as far as clothing options. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been trying to change my outfit every day. I don't typically do that, and it's something that I've honestly been really enjoying doing, so I'm trying to switch it up every once in a while. So I do actually really enjoy coming in here and seeing what is available to purchase. I feel like the green are kind of fun. Just a little something different to kind of switch up my look a little bit. I think I'll get some new socks as well. Like you can never have enough pairs of new socks, so works for me. We might as well wear it. See, I feel like the green is just like a fun little pop of color because I do really love wearing brown in this game for some reason. Ooh, we have some cute things in here today. This is exciting. Actually, I kind of like all of these. I feel like I don't have enough money though to like go too crazy. I even like this little sign thing, but I kind of need to be like more mindful about what I'm buying cute i'm excited though and i want the coffee cup as well i love when there's fun things available in nook's cranny like it just makes my heart so happy we'll see if we have any cute wallpaper or flooring Ooh, the common wall is actually one of my favorite favorite wallpapers in the game so we are going to pick up that and i think that's it I went ahead and grabbed both of our little plots here that we want to place. So I have Pearl's kit and I also have an incline marker. I don't think I have enough money right now to actually pay off the incline, which is a little bit of a bummer. I mean, I guess I kind of do because I ended up getting the least expensive incline. I just, I just went ahead with the natural ramp so that I could save my bells since we really don't have a whole lot of money right now. I still feel like the natural ramp is really cute though and I still totally like it. Maybe we will pay it off today but i do feel like i need desperately to do some grinding for money very very soon i'm also thinking for pearl's plot i want to shift it over just one tile so that we're able to see that scape waterscaping that's behind there i think that will be pretty cute let's imagine what that's going to look like okay i feel like that's pretty cute i do like that so we're just gonna go with it Hopefully she enjoys her new house. I want to like, I almost want to shift the heart-shaped pond back a little bit because I do want the heart-shaped pond to be like a part of her little space. So yeah, I've been thinking about that. I do also want to move the other two villager houses because I want them to be like here maybe. And then I'm thinking about shifting the terraforming like forward a little bit more and having there be like more room there. So that's kind of what I'm thinking in terms of that general area. But again, I do feel like we need to grind for money because we just have, we have none. We have absolutely none, which is pretty sad. I kind of don't want to grind for money still in the game today but I think I'm going to force myself to do it so I'm going to head back to my house and drop a few of these things like just outside the house because I still don't have any space in my inventory which kind of sucks so I'm going to do that and then I guess we do just a little bit of yapping and bug catching and all that stuff look how messy this is getting this is getting really out of control I hate not having enough inventory space it's literally the worst I hate it so much. Oh, I even have like pants in my inventory and everything. Before we get too far in this video though, you guys are watching this on election day in the United States. Hopefully this can be a calming, relaxing video if you're feeling anxious today. I know I am. I'm filming this the day before and I definitely have felt very anxious all day today. But if you haven't voted yet, this is your friendly reminder to make a plan for how you're gonna vote. Who you're voting for is totally your personal business, but I've gotta say that I see voting as a civic duty and I'm very grateful that I even have the right to vote so I ended up voting early and voting absentee this year so my vote is already cast 
but if you haven't cast your vote yet definitely take some time today to figure out how you're going to be doing that it is definitely a privilege to live in a country where you have the right to vote and i think it's really important to exercise that right so yeah that's my my little voting spiel for today i don't want to belabor the subject too much because i'm sure you're trying desperately to avoid all of the news right now i know that's what i'm doing and yeah, we're just gonna escape into Animal Crossing together today and pretend like it's not even happening. So yeah, I think we're gonna do a little bit of fishing and maybe a little bit of bug catching or creature diving. I honestly think my least favorite type of like farming for money is the creature diving, even though that's when you get like the most bang for your buck, the bang for your bells, so to speak. But I honestly prefer fishing so much more. I feel like it's actually so relaxing and so cozy, but not my favorite thing to do in Animal Crossing. I definitely enjoy decorating more. But I'm thinking maybe if we just do a little bit of fishing, maybe I'll also sell these shells. And I can also grab all of the fruits that are in our orchard and sell those as well. And maybe that'll be enough to pay off the incline today. Oh, and we have this money tree. So that's gonna help. And I finally remembered to play up 10,000 bells so I can actually make a decent amount of money this time. It only took me the entire 30 days of Animal Crossing to remember how to do that. But I've got to say, I'm feeling very low energy today. I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice, but it is very much Monday vibes. But even on a day when I'm feeling super low energy, I feel like Animal Crossing just always makes me feel better. It's such a perfect escape from like whatever is going on that's got you feeling stressed. Or if you just need like a cozy retreat, it's literally my favorite thing in the entire world. I will say though, I have also been crocheting quite a bit lately, which I'm very new to crocheting and I recently just kind of like watched some YouTube videos to learn how to do it. So I feel like my technique is kind of bad at this point, but I don't even care because I'm just really, really enjoying the process. I found this template online for a scarf that has like a little hood that's attached that has cat ears. I'll try to link it in the description box if you're interested in the Etsy template for it but it seems to be pretty easy so far and I think it's so cute. I feel like it's gonna be so satisfying this winter to wear a scarf that I made myself. I don't know, I'm very excited and I've been feeling very motivated about getting it done, but that's probably my number one favorite like cozy hobby right now. I would love to hear what you guys are doing to be cozy around your house. I also love to read. I did pick up a couple of books for the fall recently, like witchy theme. I know that Halloween is technically over, but I really love like sci-fi and like witch themed books in general. So I have kind of slowed down on reading just a little bit since I finished the last book that I was reading. And yeah, I feel like sometimes I just kind of go through phases with it. And right now I'm just in my little crocheting phase a little bit. I've also been super into like thinking about goal setting and my mind has been very fixated on achieving all of the goals that I have for myself between now and the end of the year. I feel like I've been talking about it a lot on my other socials, but it's been really weighing heavily on me and I wanna make sure that I'm staying committed to just like living the best life for myself, I guess. So a lot of my goals right now are financial because I definitely have gotten myself into an unhealthy amount of credit card debt. So I really want to make a good plan for paying that off. But I also have some good health goals between now and the end of the year. I really want to like move around more. I definitely need to touch grass as a girly pop who loves to be in her cozy office playing games. So I've been trying to take the dogs for a walk more often and do like little weight circuits and things like that to keep myself healthy and yeah I, and I the last goal that I've been working on right now is to find a job that just like suits my personality a little bit better right now my job is extremely draining and I feel like I'm constantly going back and forth between like mild burnout and extreme burnout so I've really been applying for a lot of remote and hybrid jobs that I think will just kind of suit my personality and general energy level a little bit better and you may be asking yourself Elizabeth why the heck are you telling me about all of these things and to be frank I 
I just like yapping. I mean, that's really the core reason, but also I think that speaking these things out loud is kind of a form of manifestation. I also think if I tell you about it, it will hold me accountable to staying committed and achieving these goals because I feel like I'm going to have to like admit failure if I don't achieve them now that I've told you about it. So I don't know, hopefully this will be inspiring to you maybe in some way. I would love to hear what goals you guys are working on if you are working on anything right now. I'm sure you have some goals that you're working on. And yeah, I would just love to hear. Maybe we can manifest and speak them into existence together. I just feel like as somebody with ADHD, it helps me so much to like tell other people sometimes what I'm working on because it holds me accountable, you know? I like to do what I say I'm gonna do. I feel like now is a really great time to think about stuff like that though because we have about two months until the end of the year like give or take right not exactly but pretty close and i feel like for me that is a very nice kind of short tangible amount of time i tend to get so overwhelmed with new year's resolutions and i'm not honestly like a very big new year's resolutions person at all like sticking to something for an entire calendar year feels like kind of an insurmountable task if i'm being honest so i think think this is going to be a little bit more like you know manageable for me and then if it becomes a habit i don't even have to really worry about new year's resolutions it's just i've set better habits for myself which i think is super fun oh we have flick here that was a super long yap i hope that you guys don't mind but yeah i really would love to hear what you guys are working towards right now whether that's financial or health related or self-care related i just love to hear and it just makes me feel like comforted to know that i'm not like alone you know so yeah, I think we're doing pretty good with our fishing. Hopefully we get a good amount of money from selling those fruits. I feel like we will. Plus we got the money from our money tree today, which is pretty good. Yeah, look at all this stuff. I almost have a full inventory. I feel like I was yapping for so long. Oh, we have the rocking horse. Cute. I actually feel like this DIY is super adorable. We do still have to go to work today, aka Happy Home Paradise, so I think what I'll do is just finish up maybe a little bit more fishing, and then we can head over to Happy Home Paradise and do a house over there. I have been loving decorating in Happy Home Paradise lately. I feel like the home island, I don't have as many items right now, and it's feeling a little bit challenging to decorate, so it's so nice to get like a little break from that and get to go over to Happy Home Paradise and just decorate to my heart's content. I I have been really really enjoying it honestly as much as i'm trying to advocate for saving money and all of that stuff right now i feel like the 25 dollars on happy home paradise is money well spent if you've been feeling burnt out with your animal crossing game it's just a fun you know little way to shake things up and i've been really really enjoying it so I think we're going to take everything that we have in our inventory right now and head over to Nook's Cranny and just sell these things. And yeah, oh, hi, Stu. Hi, I didn't even see you there. Um, what are you doing? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm sitting. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I literally can't even stand him. What the heck? He is the cutest little guy I have ever seen. Okay, how many bells do you think we were? How many bells? Oh, oh gosh. Hi, Penelope. Ooh, we're going to get a sleepy reaction. I thought I already had this one, to be honest. But thanks, Queen. I wish that she would have moved off the island instead of Billy. Speaking of Billy, he's going to be gone tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be our villager hunting day, I think. Okay, so here we are. I want to sell. How many bells do you think we're going to get for these items? I feel like it's actually not going to be that much. But it is kind of hard to judge because I feel like all of the fruits are going to be a decent amount. I can't remember how many bells you get for veggies. Is it like a hundred, maybe? All right, let's see, let's see. Please be like 98,000. Oh, <laughs> 52, that's, that's fine, that's still good. We at least have enough money to go pay off the incline, so I will take it. I just realized that I accidentally sold my ladder. <laughs> oh no, that's so sad. Um, the real question is, is will I be lazy and not make a loot new ladder and will I instead run through the entire island just to go pay off that incline? Can you guess? Can you guess which ones I'm doing right now? <laughs> it just feels like too much work. I don't know you guys. 
I'm like, it was less work to run all the way over here. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> all right, Lloyd, I have your money. I have your money, sir. Please build me a ramp tomorrow so I don't have to build a ladder and I can just use vines and stuff, okay? Please and thank you. Yee! Okay, slay! We love to see it. All right, I will see you guys over on Happy Home Paradise. Okay, so we are decorating a home for pecan today, and or is it pecan? I feel like that that is up for debate. She wants a very chic little house, so I kind of feel like giving her either the brick staircase that was already here, or maybe even the stone. I might try the stone for a second and we'll just like see how that looks. I put her in the city because I felt like that was pretty chic and very on brand for her. I think we're going to do this house and you know, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe that's a bit more rustic. Maybe this one would be better. We'll do, I always do a black roof, maybe the more like town-esque style home. Some of the bigger houses that you can have once you unlock more options in this game, I think would probably be a little more perfect for her, but I don't have those options right now. So we're just going to kind of dink around and see what we can make. I do feel like this is probably the best, the most chic. Maybe this one. I feel like that sort of fits her overall vibe. And she's got this like very dark red color about her. So I feel like we're going to kind of go with that for the door. We're taking inspiration from her. I do kind of like the items that she was looking for. I think those are pretty cute. Um, you know what, actually? I feel like she would have a more structured, like, pathing, you know? Like, something more symmetrical. So we're going to do that. Plus, it kind of goes with, like, the city vibe that's around. Can I put a tree here? Oh, perfect. And then I do feel like we need some, like, very structured pathing as well. So we're going to add that in. Oh, I just remembered I don't have any. I don't, I haven't like upgraded my pathing yet, which is a bit sad because that would be kind of perfect. We're going to give her like a larger area here next to her house. And then I'm just going to like, I think, oh, oh, extend it this way. I think. Yeah, something like that. And then just round off at all of the edges. And then I do want pathing to extend here. My goodness. And mine as well. Should I round that off as well? I feel like I should just to keep it consistent. Okay, that's cute. Um, okay, what else? We definitely need some bushes. I feel like these... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we do... Maybe do these ones. Yeah, that feels better because it's gonna... And then I want it to be sort of symmetrical again, so we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna put them on either side of this tree as well. And over here. Okay, and then we need a plant. I kind of feel like these are very... They feel very pecan to me. They feel on brand for her. So we're going to do that, just kind of like symmetrically place them in between. And then I think what I want to add in now is a fencing kind of behind, but I want to do like a more city style fencing. So maybe we do hmm, like this one, maybe the iron block fence. Yeah. Okay. That feels fun. That feels good. And then that also kind of like offsets the stone staircase. So I do like that. And then, oops, I think we'll put another bush down here just to kind of keep with the theme and another flower. And then now I need to add in some other like more city core style elements, I think see what we've got for her order. Oh, she wants the rocking chair. That does not feel very fitting for this. I feel like it's very chic to have like an outdoor, like, ooh, the chessboard. Okay. I'm just going to grab that because I feel like, oh geez, I feel like the chessboard feels very 
like fitting for this house. Oh, she didn't like that. Too bad, bestie. You are getting it anyway. Okay, we're gonna do like a little sitting area up here. Maybe we can do multiple sitting areas. Like, like it's just a chess, crazy chess game going on here. Chess in the park or something. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to make up a story here. I do think that I like the iron garden table for this though. Plus it kind of looks good with the house colors that we picked. So that is good. Okay. I'll just put this here and then um, I'll just duplicate it all. Put it right next to each other. Perfect. Okay, so I feel like that's pretty good. I feel like she does need like a street lamp here. Maybe a couple of street lamps. I think I want to do the black. Yeah, I think that looks good. Pizza Cat has some things to say about my choices of lamps, I suppose. So I think we're going to do the other lamp. We're going to do the other lamp right here, I think, because that makes sense. Ooh, maybe the evergreen ash actually could be kind of cute. We'll do it in the brown. And then I'll just put it up here, maybe. What if I scooch these over? Okay. And then just like tuck it over here. We'll do like a little green leaf pile, place that over, oh, just place that over there. Okay, I think I'm going to keep the outside of her house pretty simple today and maybe put some more detail on the inside. So I have the items that she wants to have in her house and I have it in my mind to make a really cute kitchen area again. I keep saying that because I just really want to make a kitchen and I feel like she would have like the cutest little entertaining space too. I have this like dark moody vibe in mind for her. What is this? Oh, very fancy. Maybe we go with like a sitting room instead. It's feeling like a doctor's office-y almost though and I don't love that. But like we could have like a whole fireplace vibe going on maybe. So maybe if I put this here, we can put a fireplace on the front edge maybe. Hey, I kind of like the stripes. Is that totally crazy? I feel like it's kind of fun actually. I feel like I can do like a little cute sitting area here. And then we'll just kind of like make it a little bigger. I can still do a fireplace. So let's check that out. I think on the other side of the couch that we just placed though, I'm gonna put a bookshelf. Just put it like directly behind. Maybe a couple. Okay, that's kind of cute. And then I want the fireplace. To go here as like a focal point a very cozy little focal point of the room like that needs to be scooted back a bit is there a darker colorway maybe the dark brown okay that's not bad um all right i do feel like this feels awkward so i'm just gonna move that i think it's a very interesting dresser maybe i put it on either side no, that's a little obnoxious. Okay, I actually think it was better where I initially had it. So we're just going to put it back. Even though it's kind of blocking the window, it's okay. It is okay. Um, I do feel like she needs a rug of some sort. I feel like this one will work. 
kind of suits the kind of like tacky sitting room vibes that we have going on. She also definitely needs to have more plants. I don't know if that was like something she desired in her order, but she is certainly getting it because I think more plants is always a good thing. I do feel like there needs to be some music here. So I'm just going to add this like cello in. I think that is going to be very cute. Also the elegant lamp feels very like good for this build. So we're going to put that up there. I think the rotary phone also feels kind of on brand. What if we did like a red color? Cause she's red. Well, she, I guess she's more like maroon. So it doesn't super fit. So maybe I'll just do black and it'll kind of like blend in with everything. It feels very like funny. I don't know. And we'll do the fragrance sticks. Very demure, very mindful. I feel like she does need like a little table maybe. Okay, what if I put a bird cage? I feel like it needs something like eccentric like that. So we're gonna do it. And then, I don't know. We need more plants. Ooh, yeah, that's perfect. And then maybe even one more plant. Ooh, what about this big old clock? I can put that in the corner. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. I don't totally hate that. I don't really want to decorate the walls too much. So then I guess my last thought is like the entrance way, just a tiny bit. We could put the music stand, oops, not right there, but I could put it right here and then maybe just like tuck the cello back a little bit. Okay, I kind of like that actually. It makes me feel like somebody is like playing for her. You know, they have some like entertainment going on for their dinner, dinner parties that they're going to have, their soirees. Ooh, the vintage low table is perfect and that will give me a nice little surface to put like a candle on maybe do i have anything if not a coffee cup always does the trick oh maybe we do the aroma pot the white is kind of cute Ooh, but the blue is giving like cauldron vibes almost i don't have a single candle that's so sad all right i guess we're doing the cream and the sugar Maybe in a different color though. Oh yeah, black for sure. Okay, I think that's her house. Okay, I think that's her house. I feel like the stripe accent wall is like the perfect amount of, I don't know, eclectic silliness, if you will. So we're going with it. Your house is done, Pecan. Okay, besties, that is going to wrap up another day on EB Isle. I hope that you enjoyed that as always. Tomorrow will be villager hunting for a replacement for Billy, and I am so excited. I really hope we get another cute villager on this island. Thank you as always for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.